Hey, I'm KK. I'm Kristen. And together we are K and K Crochet. And today is another episode of All That Buzz about the crocheted hats. Because we're coming to you with this series, um, whenever we find a new hat pattern or a hat pattern that's new to us that we've tried, hoping maybe if we can give you some inspiration to find some things that you'd like to work on. Whether you are crocheting for family, maybe you're crocheting to donate in your area, or if you're crocheting to donate to our outreach, Bumblebee's Mountain Outreach. And there'll be more information about that in the description box. But today, it's Kristen's turn because she has a hat pattern that she found and would like to share with you. Okay. Um, so I was trying to find a different hat pattern for like gender neutral, like would work for anybody. So I found this one. It is called the Crochet Men's Beanie by One Crochet. I like that a lot. That's and, the first time I've seen it. Yeah. So, one, I really love this pattern. and I'm definitely going to be using it. She uses the herringbone double crochet, I think is what it's called. And it gives it a nice texture. But also what gives it a good texture is you flip it every round. So instead of just working the hat like you normally do in the round, after every row you'd flip it and work on this side which gives it this rigid texture and down here you can't really tell but there's like some single crochet rounds and that's because she changes the color but I just decided to keep it one and also I think it may have been where she was having us flip it you can't see a seam throughout the entire hat. and it has a more even it is shape even she also does the increases differently than I've seen. And I really, really love it. Like, I think I just found the seam. It's, it's right there. You can see it. But it's hard to find. Are her increases different from the one from Repeat Crafter Me? I don't know which one's Repeat Crafter Me. Uh, the Varsity hat and the, or the school color hat and the heart hat that we did. How are her increases? like The ones that went up so far and then she went out. No. This one, you work <laughs> normally, but the count's different. Like, I forgot what number. It's not, like, some people do 6, some people do 12, some people do 10. It's, I think it di it's a different number than that. I just really like the way it kind of comes straight down. Yeah. It, it looks more like for a man, you know, they like the tight fit, like, beanie Which is what I was color. trying to find, but also something that would work for me, because I have thick hair, it has to be bigger. So, I just, I really liked it. Let's see. And I was really happy with the way it turned out. Ooh, I like it. I like the way it fits. It's like right there at your ears and it fit. I love this. Yeah. This is so neat. And she explains it really well. But it's not really thick either. I mean, maybe it's the yarn you use, but it's not I think, like... I think I use like a... It was a four, but... Like a but it's not like you're going to burn up in it. I mean, if you have like a... It'll keep you warm, but if you're somewhere where it's not as cold, it'll keep you warm enough but not burn you up. Yeah. I really like that a lot. I was trying, I'm, I get bored of same old patterns like I used to do. And I'm just trying to do more hats this year. So I was looking for different patterns, trying to find different increases. Because mine always flare out and look like a crescent shape instead of a perfect U. I like that a lot. Yeah. I like the lines and ridges. I like the detail on that. And it's very basic. It still has a design that catches your eye. But for a man, it's very basic. And, and they're going to wear it. Yeah. And it will go with everything. I like this a lot. I, I, I want to do some of these in the darker neutral colors because it'll go for anybody. But for those who don't like a lot of frou-frou, you know, like. Yeah. But it still has a design that it makes it different. I like it a lot. I'm going to try that. Yeah. And like I said, I hadn't seen it until today. She sneaks around and does stuff like that. And then I don't see it. And then she's like, ta-da. Sneaky crochet. So this is the first time I've seen it on, is on the video. Oh. I really like it a lot. I do too. And it worked up pretty easy. I think it only took like 30 to 45 minutes to do it. Wow. Yeah. Are you serious? Are you sure? Well, maybe like, a, maybe like an hour. It wasn't, it def probably wasn't definitely 30 minutes. But like together, because I had, I think I had to go to work that night. Oh, okay. So it's probably like, jeez. Like an hour it took me. It didn't take long. It whipped up really quickly. Really easy pattern. I like that. It usually takes me about two hours to do a hat. How about you all? Let me know down below how long it takes you to do a hat. And that's a basic hat. That's not anything that has like jumping through hoops or anything. This is a basic hat. Like it has the herringbone double crochet, which I've never worked with before. So it probably took me a little bit more than an hour. I'm just estimating here because I didn't time it. But 
I definitely had to get used to the herringbone stitch, but it's, I really like it. I really like the way it turned I out. I like the way it leaves the little ridges a lot. Yeah. And I like this blue. It's, this is red heart. That is a not red heart. That is Ogo. What? Ogo is red heart, right? It depends. It can be red heart. can be Ogo. <laughs> Ogo can be red heart. It can be Caron. It can be a lot I of think, things. Okay. I think it was a red heart <coughs> Ogo. If it's an Ogo we had. It was an Ogo we had. That was mine. Then it was, um. Definitely a red heart. Okay, so it was definitely red heart, probably navy. Yeah, I like that color a lot. So there you go. You can kind of see how the stitches. Yep. So let us know down below if this is something that you think you might be willing to work on or if it is a new pattern to you. And as you've done this herringbone, the double crochet herringbone stitch before, I've I done. Had it. Um, I think you said the half. I've done one with a half double crochet. If you remember during Christmas extravaganza last year, I did um, bottle covers and it had a herringbone stitch in it. I'm pretty sure <coughs> it was time consuming. It didn't look like this, um, but it was alternating too. So it, it was really, really pretty though when you finish with the texture. So I like things like that that give texture but aren't in your face. Yeah, it's simple. Like yeah, people like, who don't want a lot of yeah, like. Because, you know, there are certain things that you can put on a hat that a man's not going to wear. It's just the way it is. Or And I feel like my guys would wear this and be more likely to wear it than just um, a plain hat or one that had, like, you know, I don't know. Those things that look like, uh, like, definitely not with a pom-pom. My guys wouldn't wear a pom-pom. But I'm talking about, like, um, you know, certain stitches that you do that make a hat look more more decorated yeah they would not wear but this i think they would wear because it's just the stitch and around like that and i like the i don't know maybe it's a geometric thing for me because i'm math oriented i love it like, it just i love the lines there's like in her thing you can see it a lot better but there's three single crochet rows towards the bottom like there's probably like, i think there's like one and then like two and then three and she did gray and then like a light gray so if you wanted to do, like, if they had two favorite colors, you could do that. But I just That would did be it. pretty with gray and blue. And, and you know colors. what else would be pretty if you did that with um, school colors? Yep. You could do the two colors that are the school colors and do the lines back and forth. And that would be super See, cute. See, this is the most my hats have ever came down in perfect U shape. So I really like this one. Most of mine look like a crescent. I had one a few years ago that did that. And I, it's probably by the same designer. And I lost the pattern and can't find it. So I'm interested to do this one because she also turned hers back to front. And I know you said you thought she started this one with 11 stitches. I think it was 11. Stitches, and she also started with 11. And so she turned, so I'm it. thinking it's the same, <coughs> excuse me, the same designer. So I'm interested in trying this. So let us know down below if you're going to try this one. If you have a favorite hat pattern, let us know that too. Share with others so that we can check it out. And don't forget to share over on our Facebook group too if you make hats and want to show us what you did from the ones we suggested. And it's not like you have to do it. It's just if you're looking for something, there you go. Look at that perfect shape. I love it. All right. So don't forget to be kind because you don't be else's journey. And we'll see you soon. We'll see you on the next All, all the Buzz About the Crocheted Hats. Bye. Bye. Thank you.